All right, let's do this one. So first of all, if you have not yet, if you got questions 3A and, and or 3B wrong, go back and watch the video for that one before you watch this one, all right? Because 3A and 3B are sort of basic applications of normal force. And if you don't understand that, you're gonna really struggle with this one, all right? So let's do this one, all right? So it says Roy, who has a mass of 80 kilograms, is in an elevator that is moving down at six meters a second. So let's start with all of that information. All right, so here's the floor of the elevator. All right, here's Roy. We're just gonna draw his head, 80 kilograms. All right, every time I make a free body diagram, I should start with my gravity. Okay, just 80 times negative 9.8. All right, let's see. I know that my initial velocity is negative six meters a second. Don't forget that negative sign, right? It's moving down. That's probably a common mistake is to miss that negative sign. Um, notice the velocity vector points in the same direction as gravity. So those both have to have the same sign, negative in this case. All right, we're gonna stop it in a time of two seconds. Oh, I recognize that I know VF, VI, and T, I can find my acceleration. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so we're gonna get, uh, let's see, zero minus negative six over two. Oh, the acceleration is positive three meters per second squared, even though we're slowing down, right? Because the velocity is getting less negative. All right. Okay, cool. So remember, there are two ways to calculate net force. You can do mass times acceleration or add up all of your forces. Here, I know my acceleration. So let's start with that. Let's find our net force. So let's see, Roy's mass was 80 kilograms. Acceleration is positive three meters per second squared. Multiply that out and you get 240 Newtons. All right, now here's the next question. What other forces need to be on my drawing? And what happens frequently is I'll have students go, oh, well, he's on a floor, so there's gonna be a normal force of some sort. And then he's in an elevator, so there's the force from the elevator, right? Here's the deal. Those are the same force, all right? So here's the floor of the elevator. Here's Roy, right? Okay, check it out. It's the floor of the elevator that is lifting him, right? But, so there's only two forces here, gravity pulling him down and the normal force from the elevator's floor pushing him up, right? Your normal force is the force of the elevator, okay? Just like in this problem, you had a box sitting on a table. Over here, you had a box sitting on a table. There, the normal force is the force from the table, right? But you don't put force a table, you just call it normal force because I don't care what the object is, I just know it's sitting on an object, right? So likewise, similarly, over here, what's lifting Roy? The elevator, but it's the elevator's floor, so we call that a normal force, okay? And we need to figure out what it is, okay? There is no force of the elevator because we've accounted for it right here. So that force of the elevator is your normal force, okay? So now we can solve for it, right? I'm just gonna go, oh, well, net force is my total force. So it's gravity plus the normal force from the elevator. So 240 Newtons is my net force. That's gotta equal my force of gravity, negative 784 plus the normal force. Add 784 to both sides and you get a number that I don't remember. No, oh, stupid Gorilla Glue. Oh, now it's all sticky, gross. 240 plus 784 gives you 1,024 Newtons. And that's it, okay? And this explains why you feel heavy, like when you come down an elevator and you stop, you know how you feel like pfft, squished into the floor of the elevator? This is why, because the floor of the elevator is pushing up on you to stop your downward motion, okay? And we just call that normal force, okay? This is a zero if you missed that. All right, if you're struggling with this, come see me. Student support time before or after school, if we're live, uh, happy to help. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.